Hey, we back at it. We back at it. This time, we got who y'all been waiting for, baby. Charlie Offadil. Hey, listen, I'm going to call him Charlie O. If I was around him, that's what i call him. Charlie O in the building. Listen, y'all, I checked Charlie O all the way out. I told y'all he was a dog. Listen, in high school, my boy had 10 picks. Ran for 1,400 yards. Listen, I told y'all this man is a playmaker. Look here. He got there at 21. And when 22 got there, hey, look here. My boy was out there running that ball and got him a start. But we're going to talk about it. Charlie Offadil, y'all already know who he is. Coach Prime had him get the team up in the middle of the field when, uh, one day at practice. Then you look around again. He out there running the ball. Everybody, Charlie, Charlie. Every time we look up, Charlie making plays. So at the end of the day, that's all I expect him to do. I told y'all he'll playmaker if they wanted to. If they wanted to. You don't get 10 picks just by, by just being out there. You get 10 picks because you're a baller. So if they wanted to, Coach Pryor could throw him at DB. Hey, if he wanted to. Now, I'm just saying. But without further ado, I'm going to bring Charlie off a deal on y'all on here, y'all. We going to get him in. We going to talk to him. We going to find out everything y'all want to know. Hey, Charlie, what's happening, man? What's happening? How you doing? Good, man. Hey, thank you for coming on, man. It's definitely a blessing to have you on. Of course, man. It's my pleasure. Love it. Look, man. So you from born and raised in Colorado, correct? Yes, sir. Born and raised. Now, you dominated in high school. I, I like how you was doing. Tell me how you ended up with 10 picks, man. You out there getting it. Oh, yeah. So I was, I was just roaming the field at free safety, really. Um, yeah. Sideline to sideline, you know. Give it to us. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So they had you starting both ways, running back and uh, safety? Yes, sir. So I actually uh, started running back uh, halfway through my junior year when the starter got hurt. So, yes, sir. And they, like, they like you, boy. They like you. Now, listen, you the hometown favorite, man. You from Colorado. You stayed at Colorado. You went to Colorado. You stayed when Coach Prime got it, man. Listen, I, I, I like you, man. I like your mindset. But I want to hear about it from you because I know what I think on the outside, but I'm not, you know, hearing it from you. So what made you end up choosing to go to Colorado? Because I'm pretty sure 10 picks and you running that ball, you could have went anywhere else too. So what made you stay home with Colorado? I mean, the biggest thing for me is my family. You know, uh, all my family, I got an older sister, younger brother, uh, mom, dad, all in Colorado. So, I mean, staying here in Colorado, that was huge for me. Had to stay, had to stay, man. I like that. I like that. Now, when you chose to um, come to Colorado, did they give you a preferred walk on or how it went? Yep. Um, so, actually, um, it's kind of funny because it was a playoff game my junior year. Yeah. And uh, scouts from Colorado came to watch uh, some other guys, some of my buddies now, uh, came to watch them ball out. And we actually ended up beating them. And I went off uh, running all over them. Yeah. And that's when they gave me a call and was like, yeah, like, here's the preferred walk on. I was like, I'm going to take it. Hey, gonna out of there. What your family it. said when you got it? Oh, they were they were ecstatic. It was awesome. Man, look at that. One game changed the whole way you was going in your life, man. I like that. Now, tell mm -hmm. me this. Were you going to go there anyways? Or what would you have done if they didn't see you in that game? Um, I mean, if they never contacted me, I was uh, possibly thinking about even going to the Ivy Leagues, um, maybe with Brown or Yale. Um, I mean, but Pac-12, Colorado, that, that's a dream. That's my yeah. dream. Hey, I like it. I like it. So, sure. boy, you super small. If you were thinking about going there, man, that's your like grades must be amazing. So, since we talking about that, since you done brought me to the Ivy League, we might as well talk about them grades. So, how you doing at Colorado right now as far as your grades and what you majoring in? Uh, yeah, so I'm actually majoring in uh, molecular biology. And Hold on, hold on. Uh, now, you ain't going to just throw that to me and then I, like, I supposed to know what that is. Run that back again. Molecular biology. Now, tell me what is that? I know I know it's going to make a big paycheck because I don't even know what I don't even know what it is. So, tell me what this do 
Um, so really with this major, I'm just trying to get into dental school and become a dentist, uh, like my dad was. Okay, okay. So you stand yep. in the family bit. So your dad, now you got boy, you got me, you turning me every kind of way. So your yep. dad has a business and it's what it's called the offer deal dentist. Yeah, well, well, I mean, it was because uh, he's Dr. Offerdahl, uh, South Kipling Dental oh, Care. My bad, my bad, Dr. Offerdahl. My bad, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's <Forgive me. laughs> all good. Um, no, yeah, and he actually retired uh, about a year and a half ago, two years ago. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm look to run my own business. And, yes, yeah, sir. I like that. I like yeah. that. Hey, man, you got me ready, man. man Boy, I like that. So, you already got the whole thing situated. Play ball. Let God take you where he take you. If you hit that lead, you hit it. If not, you already got business. You ready to run. I oh, like yeah. that. So do you have you do you take any business classes with it? Um, I, I've thought about it, but right now I'm just really trying to focus on those hard science classes. Um, yeah. But yeah. Now I seen too, you you made me think of this, man. You I seen too, you got a brother named Jack that played ball too, right? I do at Dakota Ridge. He's a baller. What, what baller. now? What year is he? Uh, he's going to be a sophomore, just finished his freshman year. Okay, okay. So, yeah. what, he play everything like you did? Yes, he does. Okay, so it's, it's in the family. Now, one more thing. Did your dad play ball? Because I know I know he, he Dr. Offer deal, but did he play ball before he became Dr. Offer deal? Yeah, well, he actually played uh, DB at the University of Washington. Ooh! Yep. I asked on that thing in your bloodline, boy. There we go. Hey, golly. Man, well, I'm so happy for you, man. Listen, that's why you be out there dumb. That's why you had them 10 picks, man. So hold on. When you got here at the Colorado, what made you pick running back over DB? Well, that's actually what they wanted me for was running back when I first got here. Um, mm -hmm. And in my head, uh, like I had been training for DB my whole life because my right. dad was a DB. He was getting me right. Um, but if they wanted me at running back, I was – just getting to do whatever they wanted me to. Right, right, right. So yes. you've been doing your thing because I and when I seen, I said, okay, let me check him out. 22, you a red shirt freshman, but yes. you get you got out there in the TCU game and got you a care. So yes. going into the TCU game, did you know you was eventually gonna get the ball or, or you had no clue? Uh initially I had no clue. Um I actually got in the first drive of the game. Oh, which, you did? Yep. Yeah. What happened? How, like, tell me how that went, man. Uh, well, it was actually a third and long, um, and they had actually put me in empty, uh, kind of run a drag route across the field trying to get open, but yeah, just didn't get there, unfortunately. Golly, man. How did that feel when they call your name? Charlie, Charlie, come here, come here. Like, yep. oh. what, what was the feeling? Like, did you get butterflies? Like, oh, man, I'm going to go in. Oh, to the max. <laughs> I mean, I, I looked up and see the crowd. It was crazy. Man, oh, you out there getting it. So then by the time you got to the care, did you when when they did give you the care, what well, they say, hey, we calling you next play, brother. We calling you now. Be ready. Yep, yep, exactly. I just gotta take advantage of every opportunity. Man, you've been doing that. You definitely been doing that, man. So all right, now bring it forward to when you got your start. Well, no, let's I don't know when the games came. All right, Minnesota. Yeah, got the yep. third most rushing yards as a walk on. So what happened in that game to get you, you know, get your carries up like that? Yeah, so I think I started getting carries uh, somewhere in between the second quarter. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I got about eight carries that game for about fifty five or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was popping off for for a couple quick ones there. And listen, see what people don't know is. Minnesota good. P.J. Flat okay. got them boys rolling. So if you didn't get any yes, amount of good yards on them. You was doing your thing. Yes, Boy, sir. You was holding it down, man. All right, so now bring it forward. You get the star versus uh, UCLA. When did you know, like that Monday? And what did you tell your family? Like, hey, well, I'm going to be out here star. Oh, well, actually, um, like I – I was hearing some buzz around it um, leading up to the game. Um, looked up to the screen, you know, as they like flash the starters and whatnot. Uh, and that was enough there. I was like, okay, okay, right? Just going to play it, play it out. Um, and actually, on the first drive, that's when they called me out there. I was like, all right, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's get it. You yeah, was sorry. ready. How oh, yeah. was that game, man, getting your first official start? 
Oh, it was great. Um, seeing my family out there, um, up in the stands. My grandma was there. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. So it was a home game. Yes, sir. Against Ooh. UCLA. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. You can't beat that. So no. now, bringing it to the off season, they they take your coach and say, "Hey, man, we get we gotta get rid of you, brother." Now, yep. I think his son's still there too with y'all. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So he handling business, but okay, they get rid of coach. Then they bring in y'all start. I guess finally here is Coach Prime. Were you sitting there in that meeting as well? I was. Now, see, I know what you th- I know how you had to be thinking because I, from my view, you already was a ball in high school. You already handled business this past season, so you went running. You was finna stay. You was finna do what you do. You got hey, you Colorado through and through. You probably watched them all. Was it? Well, I don't know. You might have watched Washington because your daddy was at Washington, so you bit. might have been torn between that. But still, with you sitting in that meeting, how were you feeling when he was talking? I mean, uh, there was a lot of pressure at first, obviously, yeah. um, a lot of hype around it. Um, you know, a lot of people around me. You know what? They were scared. Whatever. Those guys got up and left. But I mean, the truth is, is you know, stay here and work, uh, work my tail off. Um, when the op- like I said, when the opportunity presents itself, just take it. Man, look, every video, when you get the ball throughout the spring, all the way up to now, every time I see you, you always making plays. So I'm like, I know he going to make plays. I, I seen what he did in high school based on what your bio said. So when I seen all that, I already knew you was balling. 10 picks and you run that thing. No, he a baller. Then when you get out there and you actually slicing through people and you got some stars, like you got a star last year. So I'm like, he got it. Like, how do you feel now positioning yourself going forward? Because I know you grind January, February, March, April, May. You grinding now. So how do you feel you position yourself with all the work you done put in? I mean, when the time comes, the work's going to speak for itself. Um you know, they're bringing in all these guys, um, great guys. Right. Yeah, love them. Um, but we'll, we'll see when the time comes. You know, I'm, I'm ready to put on the pads. Charlie, man, boy, I love it. I love it. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm ready to see you shot. Listen, I go to bat for you all the time, man. But but I know because an athlete to athlete, you got it in you, man. Listen, you know what I want to happen for you? I, man, this is what I want to happen. It, it may happen. I don't know how God going to play it out. But I want when you go out there and dominate, because you dominate now, but when you go out there and dominate with them pads on, because everybody know what time it is. When you dominate with them pads, come on, man. I'm, well, I don't think you got the scholarship yet, right? No, sir, not yet. Okay, well, I believe you're going to dominate, man. Man, I want you to get it. Well, I'm ready to celebrate with you. Listen, when you get that scholarship, whenever you get it, yep. whenever you get it, just know I'm going to be celebrating with you. When they post it cross. Boy, I'm be I'm, I'm matter of fact, I'm make a video. I'm making a video telling you that I'm celebrating. I'm gonna show you I'm celebrating. Cause man, I'm gonna be so happy for you, man. Love it. Love it. I already know what it is to go as a walk on, but then to earn that scholarship, man, that's a whole different ball game. Like you know, you put in the word to earn it. So when you do get it, how do you think you're gonna feel? Um, you know, I I've thought about it quite a bit. I'm probably gonna cry. I just, <laughs> I just was finna ask you that. Where are you gonna cry? Yeah. Now, what if they have your family on the phone or the big screen and say, "Charlie, come up here, turn around," and you turn around and son and your dad, we love you so much. We're so proud of you. You think you just gonna bust out crying like that now? Yeah. I mean, that's the dream come true right there. Man, listen, why, hey? I'm, I'm going to be with you, boy. I'm going to be with you on that. Now, hold on now. I seen in your pictures you had a smooth cut. You had a smooth mustache. Oh, now, yeah. how did you end up growing this mustache right here that you got? Well, once again, my dad. <laughs> Dr. O, Dr. O, what he say? What he say? Oh, he, he loves the stash, but he rocked it in college, too, so I had to. So you pulling it out. Golly. So, hey, hold on now. Bring it back to Pop, man. Did Pop's play? Did he get out there and make some plays while he was there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He actually uh, did a couple rookie camps uh, with the Seahawks, Cowboys, Raiders, too. 
Yeah. Y'all heard it first. Y'all heard it first. Charlie Alfredo got that NFL bloodline in him. That go, hey, bro, man, I'm so happy for you, man. Golly. So I listen, appreciate you. I anytime, appreciate you. anytime, man. Listen, check this now. What your brother said when he saw you start? Because I know he at high school and he get to come and say, hey, well, my brother started this weekend. So, man, matter of fact, what was the high school? Is the high school you played at? Is that the high school where the high school you played at? Is your head coach still the head coach when you was there? Yes, he is. Okay, so what? What all? What your brother said? What all they said? Because I know they had to be calling you. Man, I bet your phone blew up. Matter of fact, it probably blew up TCU, but it definitely blew. Well, Minnesota as well, but USC. Just tell me how that was. I know it blew up all the way through. Yes, yeah, sir. I mean that that uh, starting in the CCA lane was huge. Um, you know, my brother, he, he's like my hero, even though he's my, my younger brother. Man, I, I love that kid. Yeah. He's awesome. He, he's better than me. Um, so, yeah. This is no, I know he been, hey, I know he ready to come to Colorado. Boy, I know oh, I yeah. know. whenever he eventually earned that offer, boy, he going to go. Boy, man, you probably going to cry about that one too now. Oh, I will. I'm, he better get those. That's Listen, all. he, he going to work for it. He going he, he gonna to put that work in, man. So how has these summer workouts been for you? Because I already know you work hard, so and you've been used to the thin now. So how has these workouts been to you? Oh, it's been pretty good. Um, you know, working with a bunch of new guys, um, really working on that team chemistry is a big part of it right now. Um, but conditioning, meetings, lifting, uh, it's all been good. Hard work, though, for sure. Now, what the running back coach be saying to you? Because he's a Colorado guy too, correct? Yes, sir. So, uh, yep. Yeah. So what what he be saying to you? I mean, he's they're all uh, supportive. Um, I mean, it's great, uh, great staff, all of them. I love them all. Now check this. Now you know I got to hear what the big man said. So when Coach Prime showed you all that love, did he talk to you before then or? He showed you that love that day, and then it went from there. Like, when did, when did he start telling you, like, hey, why well, I, like, I like you, boy. You you got some. Yeah, I started. Um, so it was actually uh, kind of towards the start of spring ball when I started breaking off a couple runs, you know, uh, hustling all over the place, working. Um, that's when he started to take a little bit of notice. Um, and as you know, that, that video that day, yeah. that was huge, huge. Yeah, listen, man. That's that's when I was like, hold on, let me look my boy. Up. Ooh, then I seen everything. I said, I got to have him on. I got to have him on. Now, with with the season creeping in, it's starting to creep. Which game are you all like? What game you excited to play? I probably all of them, but which game you excited for? And do you have any friends on any of these teams? Because you're in Colorado. Colorado State may have a couple of your friends on there. So any yeah. of that too. Uh, definitely. Uh, actually, Nebraska and Colorado State is probably biggest for me. The yeah. big two. I, now I hear so much about that Nebraska game. That's the man. I'm I'm making it my business to be at that game. I'm already going. I already tell everybody that. Come on, I'm be at the USC game already. But I want to come to that Nebraska, and I want to try to meet y'all either before, like that Friday or after that game. I'm trying to meet y'all, all y'all, when I get up there, man. But I'm I'm ready for that Nebraska too, man. I'm oh, definitely yeah. ready for that one too. Yeah, now, my, go ahead. Oh my my mom is actually from Nebraska, and all her family's on that side is in Nebraska. So, oh, so hold on. What's yeah. she wearing that day? Is she wearing red, or is she gonna just play it neutral and wear white with nothing else, just white and your name on it? What 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 color is she rocking? She better wear some black and gold. That's all I know. <laughs> but listen, she from Nebraska now. All yeah. the family, she might have. What does she have a little red, little red piece on? You ain't gonna be too mad at her. No, she may have a little red underneath, but <laughs> right, she gotta wear that black and gold. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Well, man, I ain't gonna hold you, but I do want to let my family ask you some questions. And man, listen, I'm so proud of you, man. Hold on, check this out. I bet you're gonna finish your college degree early, ain't you? Planning on it. And while you're there, are you gonna work on the masters if you get it done early? Uh, most likely. I mean, I'm, re I'm really just looking uh, to get into dental school. Uh, when when uh, do you get to find that? After you graduate or when do you get to find that part out? 
Uh, so I'll have to take the take a test called the DAT to get in, um, and that'll probably be around maybe about a year, year and a half from now. So, doctor, oh, he well, he proud of you, man. Like you following yeah. down my footsteps. You play ball, I play ball. You was in the Pac-12, I was in Pac-12. Go on, come be a dentist like me. Yes, sir. But you gonna be doctor O as well, correct? That's the plan. Oh, two doctor O's in the building. Hold on now. What Jack want to do? Jack want to be a dentist too? I think he's still trying to figure it out right now. He probably going to follow y'all, man. But hold awesome. on. Let me see what the family's saying, man. Let me see what the family's saying. Hold on. Everybody want to talk to you. Everybody talking about bring Charlie on. Bring Charlie on. You know I'm bringing Charlie on. If you want to come on. I'm glad you came, man. Hold on. All right. Uh, no scores on said um, hard work is easy work. This is your time, Charlie. Yeah, hey, I told you we rule for you, man. Um, Salty, Salty said, what is the biggest difference between spring practice and today's workout? Okay, yes. Uh, summer workouts. Okay, yes. Uh, so the biggest thing with spring practice, you know, it's – large focus on football 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 um you know we got a lot of meetings watching film uh going over it there there's some lifting here like to stay in shape and whatnot still stay strong um but right now uh we're getting big getting fast um with some player-led practices here and there yeah uh bam told us about that yesterday uh van wells he told us about that yesterday so y'all boys dedicated already Oh, we, um, are. we are ready. All right, boy. I'm so ready for this season for y'all. It's like I'm playing. It's like I it's like I'm on the squad with y'all, man. Here we go. Um, Huge. The H family said, What are the biggest changes from last year to this year? Hmm. Biggest changes gotta be the culture. Um, you know, that's gotta do with the staff, uh, with the new uh, athletes they're bringing in, everybody around. Um, and it's huge, really. It's contagious, ain't it? It is. It but is. We see it. We see it watching the film. So, um, let me see. Chair C said the running back coach is a uh, coach Flea, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Angela Jefferson said, "What is the major difference in the running back room compared to last season?" Ooh. Um, compared to last season. Um, I mean, the guys we brought in, um, they're from all over the place. Uh, we got Smoke from Kentucky. We got Alto, um, Houston, Savion uh, from Jackson. You know, they're from all over, and we're all ready to compete. Uh, we're going to win. Listen, I already know. I've been saying that from day one. I've Every been day. saying it from day one. I Every see you day. got some – you got to have some family in the building asking this next question. Cause they say DR is proud of you. So if DR proud of you, I know that's your high school, Lane, or your hometown. Yes, sir. DR, Dakota Ridge. Okay, okay. So um B. Wilk said, ask him how um Dante Capaluga, if I'm saying it right. Capalungo. Capalungo is doing and do they hang out or are they uh roommates? Oh yeah. Um so he actually went to Dakota Ridge with me. Um, we've been pretty good friends for some time now. Um, he's playing some slot up here. He's an athlete too, fast. Um, great guy, great guy. Is he the same year as you? Uh, he he's a year below me. What what does he play? Uh, slot. Oh, okay, you said that. That's right, you said that. Okay, so y'all heard it first. He playing slot. DC plays slot. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Well, I'm mad. All right. Peter said, where does where where do you get your work ethic and discipline from um in on the football field? Yeah. Uh so that it's gotta give credit to my mom and dad right there. Um, I mean, from the jump, uh we're le- we're taught that. Um my whole family. Yeah. Yeah, put in that work. Yes, sir. Working it, working it, working it. Yeah. Hold on. Um, a Joe said, A Joe said, how does it feel to get so much support from the fans, new and old, like life in football, uh, Chris from Alpine Garage? Um, and do you know 
you have your own hashtag? I did hear about that. I did. I mean, that's amazing. The support is huge. Um, it's real love, really. It's one love. Um, and I love all you guys. Um, it's amazing. Bro, we want you, boy. I want you to get out there and dominate so bad. You, you don't, you don't know, man. I want you to get out there and do it. Um, yes. Justin King said, "Ask him, does does he like the nickname? I mean, does he like his nickname, Coach Prime gave him?" Yes, yes, I do. What is the nickname? Because I don't remember that. Oh, it's got something to do with the mustache. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, you ain't got no choice but to like it, really. Love um, it. Love it. Tyree said, uh, ask him, uh, does he want to go back to DB or he want to stay at running back? Um, I mean, I love running back. Um, I love hitting guys scoring touchdown. You know, I give it all, give all the credit to my old line really. Um, but as far as DB, um, I do miss hitting people and getting some picks. Um, but I, I'd go wherever they need me. Exactly. I, I knew that was gonna be your bottom line. I I knew that was gonna be your bottom line. Like, man, you'll you'll play wherever they need you. Either way, you're gonna do your thing. Um, countdown said, uh, who's the fastest at CU? Who's the fastest? Yeah, or who you think the fastest? It's definitely between Jimmy Horn and Dylan Edwards. I th I told him, man, that four three, that's a different type of speed, man. Blazing. Yeah, man. <laughs> um Sadie said, what, what does he think about the difference in the food? The food? Oh, yeah. So, so they actually brought in some uh, chefs for a little bit from Mississippi. Um, I mean, that was some good food. Yeah, yeah. Some good I, food. Now, how is it now? Um, it, we got the same chefs. I mean, I love them. Uh, yeah. we, we got this place called the Champion Center, mm -hmm. and they actually provide some breakfast and lunch for us. And that's, that's amazing. Okay, since you uh, – this is what I tried to ask yesterday, right? I, do you like chicken strips? I do. Okay, all right. I, have you ever ate at a place called Raisin Cane's? I have. Okay. I really like Raisin Cane's. So it's, it's, it's Raisin Cane's, Gunther's, and Zaxby's. They all, to me, like they generated out of whoever started first. Oh, yeah. Who's the best chicken strip place up there or in the area? Because I want me some chicken strips when I come. And I need to find me a spot that got it. I mean, Kane's got that sauce. Do, oh, but are they in the area? They are. Uh, they're about, uh, they're, I think there's one about 15, 12 minutes from Bowling. Okay, okay. Now, who next? So, it, instead of me raising Kane's one more time, who would be next? That if, raise, if you didn't feel like riding 12, 15 minutes, who would you get in the area? Or mm -hmm. if you was in Denver, because I got to fly in that Denver. Okay. Um, in Denver, uh, Dave's Hot Chicken is pretty good. Um, we got this place um, in Boulder. Uh, trying to remember the name of it, but they got some pretty good uh, chicken there too. Okay. When you when you get the name, you got to tell me because I ain't, oh. I already know I'm gonna stop at Dave's. I know that's what I'm gonna do. Oh um, yeah. Spaceship says, "Did you get any nil deals for your mustache?" Oh, I. I hope I do. I got to get something for the mustache. Yeah, you better have Colorado taking pictures and everything, smiling. They'll give you one. They'll okay. definitely get you one. Um, Let me see. Chris said, what does Charlie use to make his teeth so white? Oh, wait, well, <laughs> your daddy got the, your daddy the dentist. So, well, the old, so, yeah, what? Okay, since we got you on here, what are the tricks to make your teeth white? Oof. Um... Well, I actually got this uh, pretty nice nice toothpaste that I use just about twice a day, and then I floss once a day. What what's the toothpaste? Because I want all your secrets. Because you you got you the inside man, so I want I want all the secrets. Man, I I'm gonna have to go pick it up real quick. Go get it, then. Go get it. I got I gotta see this. I gotta see because if and Doctor O use it too. I don't want it if Doctor O don't use it. I want what he use and you use. You got some Colgate. Okay. Oh yeah. That's who you need to call too and say, get me for the smile and mustache. There we go. There we go. Now we got um CJ49 Blessed. Ask Charlie um 
what he thinks about Coach Prime's um, blood clock situation since they discussed it today on the pregame show channel. Mm. Well, Uncle Neil, they, they discussed, I, I guess, about them blood clots that he had. Because everybody been praying for him now. We all been praying for him now. Yeah, I mean, prayers up for Coach. Uh, I mean, we haven't really talked too much about it, like, as a team and with him. But, I mean, we're always supporting him. Um, great, great moral guy. Uh, we love him. Yeah, same here. Same here. He said, um, B. Wilk said, ask him what position does his brother play? I think you might say it, but you can run it back. Yes, sir. He he plays some uh some slot, some running back, uh, and some safety too. Okay, so he do it all basically, like you said. Wow. Um JB said, What are your hobbies outside of football? Okay. Uh yeah. So I actually read in, like reading quite a bit. Um hang out with friends, uh hanging out with my girl, um watch, watch some TV, uh walk my dog too. Well, you yeah. got a lot going on. <laughs> you got right. hold on now. You know the dog is like really having a kid. Oh, it's 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 some time to put in. Yeah, it's like really having a kid, <laughs> man. Uh LC. Uh LC said, Who are you most cool with on the team and who do you room with? Ooh. Um, you know, I'm really cool with all of them. Uh all my boys, really. Uh getting to know them is the biggest thing. Um, I got, I got some guys here that live in the same apartment complex as me. Um, and yeah, can just rock with all of them. Yes, sir. Uh, LG said, said, how do you feel about the cameras? Cameras are everywhere. Um, you know, my dad always says, uh, it's like you're living in a fishbowl, really. Uh, everyone's watching. Um, so just rent. Uh, you got to represent yourself, your family, university. Right. Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna, I'm going to ask you two more questions, and right. then I'm going I'm to I'm let you go, man. I don't want to hold you no more. Uh, Loving it. Appreciate it, man. That's what they be trying to say. Just keep them on as long as you can. No, I got to let them go. I got to let them go. Uh, Al Love said, ask Charlie what game is he most for, I mean, looking most looking forward to. Yep. Uh, definitely between the CSU and Nebraska game, for sure. Ready? Hold on. Huge. They say, what is Isbis? I mean, Isbis, my favorite thing to eat? The uh, the CU chef? For, like, the favorite thing to eat at Champs? Uh, I don't know. Um, IBIS? Yeah, that's a place up there. Hmm. Oh, they might have meant what is um your favorite what is your favorite place to eat from the shelf? That's what they might have meant. What's your fa- what's your favorite thing to eat uh at CU from the shelf? Uh, I mean they got this pasta bar up here and hmm. make some mean pasta with that. Um they be chefing it up really with anything. Getting it all right. Love Are it. you more of a breakfast person, lunch, or dinner? Definitely breakfast. Love. Me too. I can eat that anytime. The same here. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I can. I can. Well, I can knock that anytime. Um, Smiley said, "What is the major difference between this year and last year so far?" The biggest difference. Yeah. Um, I guess kind of like I touched on before. Definitely the culture change. Um, it's it's huge. Uh, such a positive impact. This has had on all of us in the university um, really coming together. I like that, man. Um, T Bucks fan said, What kind of running back are you um, catching out of the backfield between the tackles or a blocking running back? Um, you know, I'm get it done wherever, really. Uh, you know, I do love getting out in space and making people miss, um, but I will get up in there and get those tough four yards, five yards. Um, and block too. Blocking as a running back is huge. So I, I was telling them that I said that pass block, boy, that pass protection for real. Yeah. Um, Al Keith said Coach Prime has amassed um all the talent needed to win. Now it's a matter of attitude. Do the players believe they can win, and do they have the will to win like Coach Prime? Oh, we we know we can win. 
Um, I mean, you're going to see it in the fall, right? Uh, we put in the work now and we're going to win. Exactly. Exactly. T said, um, what is your favorite song before the game? Ooh. Um, I definitely do like some ACDC. Um, that, once again, my mom and my dad, some Thunderstruck. <laughs> they getting it for you. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get uh, – this is my last one. I'm done, man. I, I, I get you out of here, man. It's Fundamentals are cool, said – what is it like to um work for uh, with Coach Brew? Oh, Coach Brewster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he he's an awesome tight ends coach. He brings that energy for sure. Um, I mean, we love that really. Um, that's huge for us. You know, getting us going, um, getting on us when we need it. Yeah, you're right. Look, man. Blessings to you. Blessings to you and your family. May matter of fact, may you and your brother. Both have amazing seasons this year, man. In 23, may you and your brother both go out there and dominate more than both y'all ever dreamed. May you get more carries than you believe you're going to get or think you're going to get. May you score more touchdowns than you think or believe you're going to get. May you, whatever your biggest dream is for this season, may God bless you to super exceed that. When you take off and be, we be like, God, don't. Charlie, let's go. How many times already? God, Charlie just out here balling. We didn't know about Charlie. Yes, you did. We've been told y'all about Charlie. Oh, so right. listen, man. And then, and which is with you being a dentist in the future, may God bless you to succeed at everything that you're trying to succeed at, man. May you have a you and your brother both have a healthy season all the way through. And may you and the running backs, y'all get out there and ball out. They had that rotation going so strong. Everybody getting out there shining. May you catch a lot of passes as well, man. Get on special teams. Maybe even some kit return. Well, kit return. I see you got that. You took two back in high school. So they could put you back there for that, too. So, man, whichever way we can get you the ball, man, may they get it to you and you take off and shine every time that ball touch your hands, man. Look, blessings to you, man. And appreciate you for coming on, man. Hey, blessings to you. And I love you guys. This is awesome. God bless. Same to you, man. Appreciate it. Hey, you the next Dr. O, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming on, man. Of course. You have a great night. All right, you too. Hey, y'all. Hey, that's Charlie O. Charlie O for deal, a.k.a. in the future, Dr. O. That's Dr. O for deal, O for deal right there, y'all. Listen, get, hey, he got that NFL bloodline in him. Yeah, his daddy. His daddy made it. Made it out there and got him some workouts in. So, hey, they bring you out there. You got that helmet. You win. He got the helmet. Probably got a couple helmets at the house right now. Listen. All I want is Charlie O to get out there and shine, ball, get that scholarship, and take off like a rocket, man. Charlie O, we rocking with you, big dog. Hey, and blessings to your whole family, man. Man, they get to come to every game they want to come to away and home. Hey, listen, y'all. That's it for me. Hey, if y'all going to rock with me in the after show, y'all know I'm going to get that ready. But if not, thank y'all for tuning in. That was Charlie off the deal. I told y'all. My boy ready. He say, hey, when we get these pads on, hey, that work going to show up. That man working and the work going to show up. Listen, work always gets you paid. Work always gets you paid, and that's what he finna do. Continue working and get paid for it in the long run. Hey, blessings to y'all. Catch me at the after show if y'all rocking with me. Either way, man, it's a blessing to have y'all tune in. Holla, holla.